Now those of us who knew the honorable Elijah Muhammad and saw what he warned us of in the paper, Muhammad Speaks. Headlines, birth control, death plan. How many of you remember that headline? Birth control, death plan. I was at Harvard University with the man who originated the social concept of birth control for black people. He became the senator from New York. I can't remember his name. Moynihan, thank you. Patrick Moynihan. When I spoke at Harvard, Moynihan was a professor. And he was introducing then the birth control plan for us. And they were trying to tell you you were having too many babies. This was a plot to kill off black people. So you became the guinea pig of birth control experimentation. The pill was designed for you. Birth control places were set up and they began talking to you through black people. Through black pastors. We have to curb the birth rate because the women are having too many children and they don't have the means by which to support them. So we are advising that they take birth control pills. This Quran says, do not kill your children for fear that you will not be able to take care of them. Allah says in the Quran, I provide for you. So don't kill your children out of fear that you won't be able to provide for them. Well, who put fear in you that you wouldn't be able to provide for your children when the slaves coming out of slavery had three, four, five children, no big job, but every one ate. Every one survived. But now with all your knowledge, all your degrees, You are afraid to have children, so the babies are having babies. See, mama not there, she had to go to work. You eating these hormone-filled burgers from a hormone-ravaged beef cow chickens, now your breasts as a teenager bigger than your mother, your hips wider, your buttock fuller, and she's not home to protect you, so men without jobs are on the corner looking not at the mother, looking the daughter. So the little boys have access to the little girls and old men have access to little girls and now there's a sickness that has been with us a long time but it's really a pandemic now of child abuse. There's hardly a girl who has not been abused by 
by an uncle, sometimes a father, sometimes a grandfather, sometimes a cousin, sometimes a brother, sometimes just a friend of the family that is trusted by the mother and the father. And when the mother and father's attention is somewhere else, the friend of the family takes off the little girl. Why is there a pandemic today of girls becoming what is called lesbians? Though they are not. They're not that. But they are involved in that behavior and it is spreading like a plague. Am I lying? Or? <laughs> but boys, we tend to think we should protect the girls and we're not watching our little boys. And our boys are being abused, sometimes by fathers, Sometimes by uncles, sometimes by cousins, sometimes by older women, sometimes by older men, sometimes by priests, sometimes by ministers, sometimes by people upstanding in the community. But many of us sit in this auditorium having been abused. What effect does the abuse of a respected father, uncle, priest, cousin, friend of the family, what effect does that have on a child? 